Okay, let's talk a little bit about atomic deployment. Now, this is something new by RunCloud, and you know, and, and it really helps in, in how you deploy your codes into your server. You know, how you have when you deploy a server and then you create a web app in your server, and you have the options to use, you have the option to use um, the Git deployment, yeah, right? What it does is that where you have it when you have everything in, um, installed correctly, tell RunCloud where to get your uh, source code from, which Git repo, and whatnot, and watch project branch and all and then you can install the webhook when you've installed the webhook um, you can simply push new updates to the, your git repo and your server will update itself with latest codes and whatnot you can also have a bit of a, a git some deployment script like if you want um, composer installs run every time you do a push to a specific branch and stuff like that you can do that too now um, of course you may notice this you may or may not notice this but because of the script deployment the deployment script that you have where composer need to run a bit of install uh, download new libraries and whatnot and maybe a little bit of downtime um, i don't know maybe a few seconds maybe one minute something like that depending on how much new installation that it needs composer need to do and stuff like that so i guess with what um run cloud has with git deployment is this you can run you can do an, a push normally like what you do and expect the server to be updated but instead of running the composer the deployment script on the live website on your live web application it's being run somewhere in the background right so your website is still live up and running and the composer install the deployment script will be run, doing its job downloading new script downloading new libraries and dependencies and whatnot and maybe you have other things as well maybe you're not using composer maybe you're using some other dependency uh, management uh, tool so when that is done um, it's kind of like just a quick swap the live to the one that was working before to the, the thing that was working in the background so when everything is ready so there's almost zero downtime when you do it that way so it's uh you have your live website and then you have something working in the background to make sure that everything is working properly to get all the dependencies and when, it, when that is done and ready it's just a simple swap it really helps reduce the downtime and user experience for your customers for your clients or not right so that is what atomic deployment does and on top of that, you also have the option um, to deploy that same code to multiple servers. You know, maybe you're using something like uh, you're using load balances, right? Companies like uh, if you use if, if you're on DigitalOcean, they have load balances. If you're on Linode, they have load balances. If you are on AWS, Google Cloud Platform, those have load balances as well. Or maybe you deploy your own load balancer using NDNX or whatnot, and then you have a multiple servers under it. You know, the normal way the normal git deployment you would create a uh, install the git and then get the git yeah the trigger webhook and then you would install multiple trigger webhooks into your git repo but now you only need to install one and with one push you don't need to do that multiple times you don't have to manually um, update the server what not cloud will manage on updating the rest of the service right so you just need to make sure that you have uh they are all from the same you have you have multiple servers installed and all this install uh, so service has its own application and it's all running being cloned from the same git repo right and um, updating from the same branch when you have that you can use uh, atomic deployment it also helps you with your multi-server deployment but i guess that's uh about atomic deployment a brief overview uh on this page here, you can click on this link and it will bring you to the documentation um information and for you to learn more about what uh, atomic deployment is if you're using you're doing something like that if you're doing things like um, with composer install if you are using things with load balances do check out atomic deployment and you don't have if you don't have a run cloud account uh, just get one it's a free trial which gives you all the features it has in run cloud and then i think there's also the free um free tier account with minimal features all right